Hello everyone, my name is Hope, and this is the best of both, but good morning, this is not a vlog. I'm going to be reading my story, uh, the first chapter, um, Saving a Tortured Soul, chapter one, Marceline's point of view. Okay, here we go. The house was dark and I could tell everyone was asleep. Well, I could tell that she was alone, and that, was she, and that she was asleep. Her room lights went dark about two hours ago. I waited outside in the same spot just to be sure she was asleep. I looked across the road and saw a few African-American teenagers jumping around and laughing. I stuck deeper into the bush to make sure I was hiding in it so they didn't see me. One slip and this would all be for nothing. All the work I put in would be destroyed. I glanced at my watch to see if I'd sat in this pointy bush long enough. I still had over five minutes to wait here in the dark, only lit by a small street lamp. It would flicker every few seconds, and that would make my eyes have to adjust to the darkness. The sound of the beeping brought me back to earth. My watch was going off, telling me it was time to do it. I reached, I reached to my watch and pressed one of the many buttons to turn the alarm off. I silently smiled in my head, glad to get out of this meeting position in the bush. I hopped out of the bush and slowly made my way to the back door. long 
gown on her, she couldn't run fast. She then trips over her gown, falling to the ground. I hear a loud smack. No, that's not good. No. There we go. Smack as her head hits the ground. She has been, she's been knocked unconscious. I drag my body up from the bed. My face burns as I put my hand to it. The touch stings and I pull my hand away. I pull my, I put my attention back to her. I wrap her arms in, in her arms and drag her to the bed. I lay her there and get into my bed. I get, I go into my bag, in my bag on the ground. I bring out a set of handcuffs and handcuff her, one of her hands to the bed. I make a phone call on my cell. After, I then say, little girl, you've made the wrong choice. Okay, so that is chapter one. I hope you liked it. I'm going to be reading chapter one next. And, um, yeah, I really, really enjoy making this. I, I, I mean, this is really fun. I mean, just so you know, this is not going to be sexual at all. So don't even, don't even think about it. I'm not, no. <laughs> so it's just an enjoyable thing because I like typing. And um, I hope you like it. It's also on fanfiction.com, so if you want that to see that, you know, it's there. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like this video, send it to a friend. Um, like this video, send it to a friend, subscribe. And let's see. Anything? Oh, yeah. Instagram. It, well, if you want to catch me, you can catch me on Instagram. It's Rosie Red Road with me, Blue. R-O-S-E-Y-R-E-D-R-O-S-E-Y-B-L-U-E. Um, or Facebook as H O P uh, Hope Mouch, capital H O P E, capital M A U C H, or email me at G, uh, the best of hope at gmail dot com, capital T H E, capital B E S T, capital O F, capital H O P, capital H O P E, um, at gmail dot com. And if you don't know how to spell gmail dot com, that's okay because I'm going to tell you G M A I L dot or period C O M. Thank you guys for watching again, and, um, yeah. Oh, and in case I do not see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.